Okay, so what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. With the recent experience of Oxygen OS on OnePlus smartphones, many users nowadays give a try to custom rooms based on Android 12 or Android 11. And after they install any custom room, we always get many messages regarding how to downgrade to stock Oxygen OS on their OnePlus smartphones after installing custom room. So in this video, we'll show you guys step by step method by which you can downgrade your device to stock Oxygen OS and also get back the warranty of your device which usually voids after installing custom room. So before starting the video, let's keep a like target of 400 likes on this video and we still have 80% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel. So it's a humble request request guys do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video and now talking about the process of getting back to stock oxygen os from any custom room basically there are two methods one is the fast boot method and the second one is using msm tool and my recommendation will always be using msm tool to downgrade your device to stock oxygen os and currently we don't have the latest fast boot rooms for oneplus smartphones so whatever rooms are available all of them can be found in the description below and i'll also mention all the msm aka unbrick tool for every oneplus smartphone in the description below so we'll use both the methods first one we'll use fast boot method so if you guys are okay with fast boot method or fast boot room then you can follow this and after that if your device doesn't boot up after installing fast boot room then you can anytime use msm method so here i have my oneplus 7 pro which is running on paranoid android and will downgrade this device to stock oxygen os on your PC, you will be requiring these many files. Let me tell you what are these files. So here we have the Unbrick tool of my OnePlus 7 Pro. Depending on your device, you can download your Unbrick tool for your particular device. This is the fast boot ROM which is based on Oxygen OS 10.0.6 and I could only find this one as the latest one. But I'll keep updating all the fast boot ROMs in the description below. So whenever there is new fast boot ROM available for the latest Android, you guys can find it in the description below. Then we have fast boot drivers, Qualcomm drivers, ADB setup. So guys, these are also very important files. These are the drivers of Qualcomm and Fastboot. And I've also made a dedicated video. If you guys are facing issues with Unbrick tool, Fastboot, ADB, just follow that video guide to install these drivers properly. Because once you have all these drivers properly installed on your PC, you won't have any kind of issues while flashing your device using MSM or using Fastboot ROM. So to install fastboot drivers, Qualcomm and ADB, just follow this video guide which is given in the description below. Right click on the fastboot file and unzip this file first. Meanwhile, what you have to do is you need to boot your device into fastboot mode. So I'll also mention all the key combinations in the description below. Using those key combination, you can easily boot your device into fastboot mode. For example, on my OnePlus 7 Pro, which is running Paranoid Android, here I get the option of booting device into fast boot mode. But for those who don't get this option, they can just power off the device first. Once the device is powered off, starting from OnePlus 6 series, the key combination is you need to press and hold both the volume keys together and also hold the power key until you see fast boot screen. Once your device boots into fast boot mode, connect it to PC. And if you have properly installed ADB or fastboot drivers, then in the ADB folder, you can just open up command prompt and type fastboot devices to see whether your device is properly connected in fastboot mode or not. And just hit enter. So if you see this serial number, that means your device is properly connected in fastboot mode and your PC have proper fastboot drivers installed. And as said, if you guys don't see the serial number, or if your device doesn't get detected in the fast boot mode, you can anytime follow this video guide to fix all the issues related to fast boot and ADB. So now let's talk about the flashing process. So here we have the unzip file of fast boot ROM. You don't have to do anything guys, just make sure you have connected your device to PC and you have proper fast boot drivers installed. Later you just need to double click on flash all and system will automatically take care of everything. Once the flashing process is completed, your device should boot into system. And in my case, I tried fast boot ROM on my OnePlus 8. My device did not boot up. So in this video, let's try it on OnePlus 7 Pro. And if the device boots up, you are good to go. If not, you can just follow the MSM guide, which I'll show you guys once this process is completed. Okay, so we got an error over here, which says fail to extract vendor. 
and this might happen with you guys also because currently we don't have the latest fast boot roms for oneplus smartphones but when i tried on my oneplus 8 i did not get any kind of errors everything went properly but my device did not boot up which was stuck in the fast boot mode but when we get the latest fast boot roms there are possibilities that just by using the fast boot ROM, we can easily revert a device back to Oxygen OS. So this process is not working on a OnePlus 7 Pro, but in future, if it works for you guys, then you can just boot your device and later lock the bootloader of your device. Now let's talk about the second method, which is MSM method, aka Unbreak tool. Currently, we have almost all the latest version of MSM tools. So you can just download that tool and that will also be in zip file. You need to right click and extract. Once you do that, open the folder and run this file, which is MSM download tool version 4.0 version might change in future guys. But currently for OnePlus 7 Pro, this is the version. And after that, you will get a pop up which will ask you for login. So here, instead of selecting factory and customer service, select others and hit next. And guys here, once you open up the MSM tool under COM, you should have some or the other ports. For me, I have COM3 and after even connecting your device in emergency download mode, which is EDL, I'll tell you how to boot your device into EDL. After that also, if it still says any, then turn off the digital signature from your windows. That also I have shown in this video. So make sure to follow this video guide properly to have everything working. So now what we'll do is we'll disconnect a device from PC and will turn off the device. Use volume key until you see the option of power off at the top and make selection using power key. Once your device is powered off, leave your device idle for 10 to 15 seconds. And after that, to boot your device into EDL mode, the combination is you need to press and hold volume up and down key and insert the cable. So this combination is from OnePlus 6 series. And if you still don't understand the key combination of booting into EDL mode, that also I'll mention in the description below. So now our device is powered off and now let's press and hold both the volume keys, which is up and down and connect a device to PC. So if you have properly installed Fastboot drivers and Qualcomm drivers under status of connection, it will show you connected. If it shows NA, then again, turn off the digital driver signature. So if it is connected, just hit on start and now MSM tool will take care of everything. The entire process might take around five to seven minutes. Do not disconnect your device until the process is completed. So let's wait for the process to get completed and we'll show you if a device boots up or not. And once again, guys, this is one of the safest method to downgrade from any custom ROM to stock oxygen OS. Once the process is completed, it will show you download completed and your device should start to boot in stock OS. So right now you can see a device which is OnePlus 7 Pro is currently booting up with Oxygen OS boot logo. We'll wait for the device to boot up and we'll show you which Oxygen OS version gets installed. Basically Oxygen OS version doesn't matter because that is completely dependent on the which MSM tool you are using. And we'll also show you whether you guys will receive an OTA update after using MSM tool. And here we go, a device have been successfully booted into Oxygen OS. And the reason why I'm saying MSM tool is the safest and hassle free, that's because MSM tool will automatically relog the bootloader without any additional step. So let's complete the initial setup. And I personally will always recommend using MSM tool to downgrade your device to stock Oxygen OS. So here you can see we use the MSM tool based on Oxygen OS 11.0.4.1. So a device is now on Oxygen OS 11.0.4.1. I'll connect my device to Wi-Fi. So soon I connect my device to Wi-Fi. Now I should have an OTA update of the latest version for my device. Let's go to system update. And as you can see here, my OnePlus 7 Pro got an OTA update. So guys, these are the two methods by which you can downgrade your any OnePlus smartphone from custom ROM to Oxygen OS stock ROM. But as said, my recommendation will be always use MSM tool to downgrade your device. You guys must have already seen in this video for us, fast boot ROM did not work. And that might work when we have the latest fast boot ROMs. Currently with the present fast boot ROMs, you guys might face some or the other issues. So guys, this was a quick look on how to install stock OS on your OnePlus smartphones if you are running custom room. If you still have any kind of questions, you can anytime join a Telegram group where most of us are always active. So guys, as of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys gonna like the video. If you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. And also if you're new to a channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.